guys! So, I get a lot of questions about what kind of art supplies I use. I'm going to go over my traditional supplies and my digital brushes on Photoshop. These are my favorite pencils to start out with. These are the Prismacolor Colorace pencils. You can order them in bulk from Amazon. If you want a thousand of them, get a thousand. They're great because they're colored pencils, but they kind of erase, kind of not. They kind of leave a smudge mark, but still better than regular colored pencils, which are the devil. Next is this pencil. I like to use the black wing pencils. The box looks like this. I get these from Amazon too. I get everything from Amazon. My whole life would fall apart without it. They're super smooth and they're super soft. They're kind of like using like a 2B pencil because they're softer and darker than like a 2H or a HB or anything like that. These are more of like a 2B or maybe even softer. Next I have mechanical pencils. I had three of these but I lost one because I lose pencils faster than hair ties. These are the Papermate Sharp Writer number two. I love these because you don't have to sharpen them. I grew up using mechanical pencils, so automatically I tend to reach for these before expensive art pencils. It takes the pressure off your drawing too. It's like, eh, it's just a mechanical pencil drawing. I'll just relax and go for it. The Pentel brush pen, it has a really nice tip. And I use this in Inktober. A lot of people use these in Inktober. Pretty sure I also got this from Amazon. Excuse you. Sorry, my dog is very flatulent. I also have this Pilot Parallel Pen. I got this for inking also before I got my Pinto Brush Pen and it's nice for really fine lines because this is basically a calligraphy pen. My favorite markers are Copics. I use Prismacolor too, but Copics I think work the best. I don't know. Here they are. I just have shades of gray. And I have these Micron pins. I have them in 02 and 05. The 02 is nice if you want a tiny, 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 tiny. This one just exploded when I opened it. Next is sketchbooks. I use these hard sketchbooks like this. They're black and rectangular. The brand is Canson. Pretty sure I got these because they were on sale. Solid buy. I like how big this one is. I love to sketch on really big areas because then I feel like I can do a bunch of little sketches on one page, which is my favorite. This one is somewhat destroyed because my dog chewed on it. Bad dog. I also use moleskin notebooks because they're smaller and less awkward when you're drawing strangers at a coffee shop. I also like this brand sketchbook. It is Kunst and Papier. Here's an example of using those Colorase pencils and then inking on top with my Pinto brush pen. I'm trying to make a video! And then I use Copics on top. When you're using those Copics, make sure to put a piece of paper underneath on the next page so you don't bleed all the way through, because it does bleed. And my absolute favorite paper to draw on, printer paper. This is my favorite thing to draw on because there's no pressure, like with a sketchbook, where you're worried about every page looking good and also worried about like someone looking through it or smudging the drawings on the page. I grew up using printer paper and mechanical pencils, so usually when I first started drawing, that's what I start with. And now for books that I like. Books! So these are the Disney Art Of books. They're very inspiring and full of visual development from the movies. Each one only has a small sliver of what was actually created for the movie, but there's some really cool stuff in here. And they're really beautiful and they're just really fun to look at. Next, The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia. There's a ton of art in this book. If you like Zelda, obviously you do. Who doesn't? Like Zelda. Richard Williams, the animator survival kit, and a classic, The Illusion of Life. The Art of Princess Mononoke. This is probably my favorite Miyazaki film. I also have books with backgrounds from a bunch of Miyazaki films, but they're entirely in Japanese. I got them from Amazon. Here are painted backgrounds from My Neighbor Totoro. These books are amazing. I highly recommend them. Lastly, one of my best friends, Bobby. I have two of his books too. And this book is my favorite because I am in it. There's me! It looks just like me. And now I'll show you my digital brushes. First, this is the Stumpy Pencil Brush. 
which I use for absolutely everything. I always start with this brush for sketching. Next, this is one of Mike Yamada's brushes that he put online. It is called the Dry Brush. This is one of Helen Chen's brushes. It's one of my favorites because it's so smooth. This is the small regular ink brush from Shiyun Kim's brush set. This is another one from the same brush set from Shiyun Kim. It's called the Ink Bristle Brush. This is just a duster brush that I found online from an artist named Chris Wall. These next two are from Kyle Webster's second brush set. There's a couple watercolor brushes that I really enjoy. And this is called the Fat Fun Spongy, and that's from his same brush set. So here's all the names together, so you can remember. I will link these down below if I can find them all. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and that this was helpful in some way. Comment down below with what kind of videos you want me to do next and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to me. Bye!